As I headed to Brazil, I had very few preconceptions of the country. I knew that it was a country full of natural beauty, soccer, beaches, good food, dance. But there was one thing that I was forgetting. Capoeira. I didn't know it at the time, but it would end up playing a huge role in my life here in Brazil. But let's back up a little bit. What even is capoeira? Nick, prazer, Nick. Prazer. Capoeira é um jogo, é uma luta, é uma dança, é uma brincadeira de criança, expressão e sentimento de corpo, de cabeça e de movimento. Capoeira is a form of martial arts, but it isn't quite that simple. Capoeira encompasses many different forms of art, combining fighting with dance and music. And for many capoeiristas, it's a way of life. But if capoeira is a form of art, how could it be described as treachery? To understand why Mestre Pastini and Mestre Bima describe capoeira so differently, we need to take a look at the rich history behind capoeira. É, a capoeira é uma luta é, de libertação. Foi criado no Brasil pelos negros que vieram da África. Mais ou menos uns 100, 150 anos atrás, a capoeira ainda era escravizada. E tinha só o seu corpo, só o seu mão, só o seu corpo para poder se defender. E o que aconteceu? Eles criaram uma forma de imitar o movimento dos animais para se defender. Por exemplo, o voo do morcego, o macaco que derrubava os, homens, o, os capitão do mato em cima do cavalo. Então, dessa forma foi criada a capoeira. Slaves that escaped formed settlements called quilombos, the largest of which was known as Quilombo do Palemares, which some sources say had a population of up to 100,000, and it even had a low-budget 1984 film made about it. Sixty percent rotten tomatoes. With no guns or weapons, Quilombo warriors would practice capoeira, as it was the only form of self-defense that they had. Portuguese soldiers had a hard time attacking Quilombos as a result of this strange new fighting technique. One Portuguese governor famously declared that it is harder to defeat a Colombo than the Dutch invaders. The government became so afraid of Quilombos that anyone found practicing capoeira would be sent directly to jail. In fact, at a jail in Rio in 1862, 10% of the inmates had been arrested for practicing capoeira. After relentless pressure from the Colombos on the Brazilian government to grant slaves their freedom, they were finally liberated in 1888. Ela foi obrigada a assinar a Lei Aura, daí os escravos foram libertos. Muitos mestres foram saindo dos Estados Unidos, Inglaterra e outros países e praticando capoeira lá. E com isso a capoeira foi se fortalecendo. Capoeira transformed from something synonymous with treachery into an integral part of Brazilian culture and heritage. Uma filosofia de vida. Dois pra quem é de boa noite. 